Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott Smith, and joining me with joining with me in the booth uh, at the Seniors Tour uh, stop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is uh, the one and only Danny DiLiberto. Hi, Danny. How are you doing today? Okay. Glad to be back here. And our uh, feature matchup for uh, uh, this production is between defending champion Grady Matthews, known as the Professor, and his opponent is uh, Dallas West from Rockford, Illinois. Uh, he's now a Hall of Famer after his induction last uh, fall. Uh, how do you rate this match up here, uh, Danny? Well, Dallas West is by far the better breaker, and that could be the difference here. I mean, it's a toss-up otherwise ability, but I give the edge to Dallas with the break. Uh, I, would, I would tend to agree with that. I think this is uh, a pick game. Both these guys are great players, and uh, uh, they both have uh, quite a bit of firepower, but uh, uh, Dallas probably does have a little stronger break than Grady. Okay, Matthews uh, wins the lag in game number one, and uh, uh, he made, uh, what is he, uh, he pocketed two balls. Two balls and uh, uh, shooting at the two ball, what's the layout look like, Danny? Uh, difficult to get to the three. If he's going to go all out, he, he may have to bank this ball if he wants to get to the three. But just shooting it in, he's not going to have a shot. He might be looking at safe if he shoots the two in the side. He hit it with a heck of a stroke. Wow, he did. He powered the ball on the side, the cue ball, all the way to the end rail, back down for position on three. It appears that the three will clear the nine ball. Great shot. It was a great shot. Uh, with a position on the three now, it appears that uh, he has uh, not that much trouble from here to get out uh, to win game number one. Is this going to be a beard here on the... Oh, looks like he's going to go ahead and play the four. Looked like he had a shot at the uh, little billiard on the 4-9 there, too. Yeah, he could have shot the combination 3-9 if there were any problems during the rack. But as long as they were all out in the open, he decided right. to run out, and that's a good choice. But anyway, we talked about the breaks. Grady broke them like a killer yeah. and made two balls. And he looks like he's going to get out. Uh, Grady uh, was the winner of this tournament last year. This is the uh, beginning point for the uh, Steve Miserac Senior Tour, and uh, I think Grady feels very comfortable in this room, in this setting, and uh, in a place where he has already won before, Danny. And that was a nice out. Mr. Matthews wins game number one. He leads one to zero. Yeah, the same room, same city, same table. Right. There's a good look at Grady Matthews. Uh, they call him the professor. Uh, one of the reasons being uh, he's one of the uh, world's premier uh, Crossword puzzle guy. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. Very knowledgeable player, too. But the professor does come from watching him for hours and hours at a tournament, sitting and do crossword puzzles. Yeah. It's total spare time, crossword puzzles. Yeah, he's uh, got a terrific vocabulary from that, too. Here's Mr. Matthews breaking in game number two. Now that looked like it kind of slid off a, uh, off the rack a little bit there, a little bit of a miss hit. Yeah, he missed he missed the uh, one ball. All right, nothing falls in the break, and uh, here's our first uh, uh, opportunity to see the uh, most current inductee into the Hall of Fame, uh, Dallas West. You think his uh, nine ball game is equal to a straight pool game, Danny? Well, I know him 30 years, and when he first showed up at a tournament, nine ball was his game. So I, I believe uh -huh. uh, originally nine ball was his number one game. Hey, he makes a nice shot on the one. He slices it in using the bridge. Uh, he's in position on the two. Three clears pretty easily. The four is a hanger. Uh, looks like it's a, a pretty routine out from here. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't call it routine because he's going to have to take a little bit of a shot on the three. Yeah, I guess that's perfect. Yeah, that's in good shape there. Yeah. But he was, uh, he was a little close to the side yeah. pocket there with the cue yeah, ball. He couldn't draw it past the, right. the side. But he, he fell on the ball real well. Uh, in my opinion, Danny, uh, uh, Dallas has one of the uh, prettiest strokes around. He's uh, got a little slip stroke. And well, for people watching out there and, and trying to understand what we're saying about the stroke, when you see the cue ball move around the table with no effort, that's a stroke. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can see right now why he's in the Hall of Fame. Dallas West, Rockford, Illinois. The score is one and nothing. Matthews leads, and Dallas is uh, shooting at the six. And uh, looks like if he keeps that cue ball on the string, he should be in pretty good position to tie the match, Danny. This is a hair tricky. You don't want to get a thin hit on the eight here. You want to get sort of straight in. This is no good. Wow. I'm surprised he went that way. It looked more natural to, to I, fall on it I, on the other side. I would tend to agree with that. Uh, it looked because he, he, uh, yeah, he had to do something a little tricky with a cue ball to, to do what he did there. It seemed like it was more natural the other way. But he overcame it. That's a sign of a good player when right. he can improvise when he falls off the path he was looking right. for. Okay, Dallas West runs the rack and he ties the match. One game apiece. And uh, we'll be starting game number three here in just a couple minutes. Once again, this is the 1997 Taco Bell Senior Players Championships. And uh, uh, last year, uh, you were, where were you? Were you in the finals last year? Uh, Second or finals. Uh, Second finals. Grady beat me on the winner's side, and then I right, finished okay. third. And Vanover was in the finals, yeah. right? Anyway, we get a chance to see this uh, break we were bragging about. Okay, we'll see how Big D does here. The score is one to one. And game number three, Dallas won two balls. Very powerful. Well, he's uh, left with a shot on the two ball. It's a uh, uh, cue ball is close to the rail, uh, which makes it a little more difficult. Well, it seems like a nine ball. There's one shot you have to make that, that makes the whole run out easy, and that was it. Right. Yeah, if you come with a, in a lot of situations, uh, if you come with that one strong shot to get in line, uh, you usually have a good shot of getting out. So he made a good shot on the two ball. Powers in the three, comes very nicely down on the four. Now, uh, where do you figure he's gonna play position? He Which might, he might uh, play for the side. He might just stick the ball and shoot it in the side. That's yep. what he did. You're absolutely right, Danny. Now he can uh, For one reason. Yeah, for one reason. Where the reason. six is at, right? The way the six was right. sitting. If he had to do something more with the five to get to the six, maybe on the end rail or something, he would have had to try to do something else. Uh, but the way it sat, sometimes you take a little bit of tougher mm -hmm. shot that makes the position easy. And that's what he did. And he, uh, he laid up on the rail there for the position on the six that gave him an angle to, to get this shot at the eight. It was a very nice Perfect. shot. Well, we might be in store for a barn burner here. They both look very comfortable. They're both playing very well so far. No mistakes. Okay, West runs out in game number three. And the score after three games is Dallas West two and Grady Matthews one. So where are you hanging out these days, Danny? Florida? Yeah, yeah. I live in Hallendale, Florida. That's on the edge of Miami, oh, and uh, that's that's where I play, Miami area. Very good pool area. Yeah, yeah. The weather's pretty nice this time of oh, year too. Huh? I just left Colorado, and it's about a foot of snow there, say right now. Yeah. Well, I'm originally from Buffalo, and it was snowing there last week. But anyway, and Miami. You were giggling, huh? <laughs> Miami had a great winter. Here we go. Game number four. West breaks. Ooh. That was a funny break there. Yeah, I'm it looked not like sure. he took something off of it. No. Yeah. No, it looked like maybe everything wasn't touching, possibly. Uh, you know, as in referred <laughs> to as a slug often, or a yeah, it, it looked like. Uh, yeah, they didn't break very well. No, they made uh, a bad sound. No action. All right, Matthews comes in. He uh, plays a safe. He, he got tries him. to. Uh, he did. He, he did him. get him. He's uh, using the seven ball as a uh, shield there, and he's. Uh, now hook Dallas West. Uh, the requirement in the Pro Express version of nine ball is to hit the lowest ball on the table, and uh, with the result of making a ball or something going to a rail afterwards. Uh, so he's uh, put Dallas West behind the ball. He must kick and hit the one. Well, sometimes the kick is so funny that he might be better off trying to tie up some balls. Right. Take an intentional. You know, he's betting the game. Of course, he hit it. Very good shot. You know, anything's good better than ball in hand. He, uh, even this. I mean, he has a shot in the one, but this right. is still a hair better than ball in hand. So Matthews comes in. No foul by Dallas West, but uh, Grady did force a little bit of a turnover, and he has a shot at the one. And uh, this layout looks a little tricky the way the balls are here well, in the two he and the three. He has a little funny angle of the one. He's, he snookered himself. 
anyway, he had a little funny angle. Yeah. I, I don't know, he didn't stroke that quite well enough. He could have gave that a little more stroke. I think he tried to draw into the seven, but his stroke was a little weak. Maybe, you know, into beginning the of the game. Ah. I mean, the three ball. Okay, he wanted, three, he wanted right. to draw into the three ball and uh, hit the edge of it and right. hold it for the two. But his stroke, maybe the beginning of the game, he's not loose yet. But he made a good hit. Mm -hmm. All right, so M Matthews leaves the table after uh, playing a bad position on the uh, two ball, and he has left Dallas uh, somewhat of a tough shot to start with. Well, this is the shot we're talking about. Right. The come shot once the again. Shot. Make this, everything falls in line. Oh. No good. It was a tough shot. It hung. It hung. That was well. uncustomary stroke for Dallas, by the way. He didn't come with his nice, fluid stroke. He gave it one and a half pokes. That was, he had, th Might those are the kind of shots. because it was a tough shot, you know? It was a tough shot, so yeah. therefore, make sure the fundamentals are, are correct. You know, take yeah. more strokes to, to get lined up better and get a little more rhythm. He, very important, very important. You're right, most Hall of Famers uh, uh, get the, to the hall by doing, uh, making those corrections like Danny just mentioned. Matthews pockets the two ball, which was hanging in the corner. Now he's shooting at the three. Ooh, what a shot. Just sliced it in, razor. He thing. made a great shot, but that, oh, look, he got lucky to hit the four. It didn't go before he hit it, you know. He really uh, got very lucky there. Well, Grady is a, uh, uh, Never a the doubt. most staunch proponent of call shot and uh, trying to take as much luck out of the game, but I, I think uh, the luck moves around to everybody sooner or later. And uh, Grady with uh, pocketing the four and the five, now shooting at the six. And uh, seven, eight, nine uh, look like they're in fine shape for Grady to tie this match at two games apiece. It's nice to be in the booth with you, Danny. I'm kind of a, uh, a guest commentator, as uh, Buddy Hall was going to be joining you uh, earlier, but he's disappeared, I believe. I think there's a girl involved or what, Danny? No, I don't think so. We can't <laughs> talk like that. He's married. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, you Excuse can't do that. All right. Scores uh, two to two after four games, and uh, Matthews will be coming to, uh, uh, to break the balls. All right, we're well, beginning game number five. Danny, the score is Matthews two. And uh, Dallas West two. This is game number five. This looks like a, a, a veteran war here. Okay, no balls are pocketed on the break. Uh, Dallas West comes to the table. Is he hook completed? Can you see any part of that? Ball? No, he can't hit any of it. He can't hit any of it. He's going to have to come with a trick push. And, and the reason I say that is uh, I'm a believer in the push is no good. We took it out of all other phases. Take it out of it after the break, too, because when you're playing players, you're not going to get the best of, of the uh, push. You know, you're only going to push it where a top player is going to know what to do also. You know, you may come with a real good trick here and there, but only once. You know, a guy won't go for it the next time. But I really believe it's a wasted shot. You know, we, we took that out of the game to make the game go faster. I don't believe it should be in uh, well, at all. I, uh, I might disagree with that. Um, uh, well, taking, tell me this. Taking it out of the game just to uh, make the game go faster uh, uh, might not warrant the how harsh the penalties are. I mean, it's because... Uh, with the old rule, if you were the breaker and you pocketed the ball on the break and you came in and you couldn't hit the one, then you had to hit, kick at it, and, uh, and vice versa. I think that uh, uh, I kind of like the rule myself. Well, here's how I feel about it. It's, uh, it's a luck shot anyway to break. Break them, hope to make a ball, and see the one. So it's the same for both people. Mm -hmm. Take a chance. If you don't have a shot, you have to kick. That well, should be in the game. Then it, that, then it puts two shots in a row that uh, have a so, big luck element. <laughs> so that's the way it is. 
but I, I know that the player who pushes gets, uh, gets the worst of it. Anyway, back to the game. All right, here we, we go. Game going number back five is two to two. They're both masters of uh, the safety play. Yes. Grady may have a hair edge there. Dallas has the edge on the break. I think Grady might have it. Grady's Matthews so used to playing. Ball yeah. up on. Go ahead. Well, he's so used to playing one pocket that uh, when the ball's froze, you know, you have to hit another rail right. if you hit that head on. And so he was real quick to, to call it uh, right. frozen. He, he has notified Dallas West that the one ball lays frozen on the side rail. And uh, West is having to kick at the ball. And for the viewers out there, it, it doesn't count unless you tell the person that it's froze. That's correct. You, you must tell the person the ball's froze. That's correct. Uh, well, he hit the ball, and the uh, one uh, lucked into the corner pocket. He uh, ended up pretty much straight in on the two. We'll see how his position play is on the three here. Very nicely done. He kind of followed down right. into the short corner there underneath the four, came out for a good shot at the three. Looks like he can just draw his ball back and uh, be, be in pretty good shape, Danny. Yeah, he has an angle to get the... Oh, he, uh, there's his bad stroke again. Uh -huh. He didn't get there. I think he's going to have to hop this or curve it. He can hit it all right, but he can't make it. That was just careless. You know, yeah. just a little more oomph. He has to curve it, which can lose position. Ooh, and by curving it, he, uh, he, he lost control of the shot. He did. And, and had he stayed there, he still didn't have a shot on the six. So right. he got punished for a bad shot. Right. Okay, Matthews comes in. Uh, no ball spot. And uh, in this situation, anyway, the only ball that was spot in the, under the Pro Express rules would have been the nine. Uh, the uh, four ball stays down. Matthews is ball in hand on the six with the six, seven, eight, nine left on the table. Yeah, this looks uh, like uh, a, 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 mo a minor roadmap. That's what yeah. we like to call it when, or connect the dots. Yeah. Either one. I like both of those. Or a no-brainer. <laughs> a no-brainer? <laughs> <laughs> and Matthews shooting at the eight. Uh, he will... Uh, just let the cue all float down him just a little bit on the, uh, ooh, he yanked it over to the side rail. But he's right in line on the nine ball. The score is two to two. This will make Matthews uh, take a three to two lead in the race to 11 games. Here. And uh, on the uh, uh, overhead camera is David Maddox from uh, Asheville, North Carolina. They call that the mad cam up there. What do we got on the uh, rest of the room there, David? What's going on? Eight tables in service, and uh, this is a stop on the Seniors Tour. Once again, there's Spanish Mike LeBron from Philadelphia. Uh, he's, a, he's a contender here to win this, baby. Uh, Larry Lascotti from Manchester, Connecticut, also uh, has a lot of solid credentials. Here we are, back to the live action. He made the seven ball. That might be enough. Matthews breaks. The seven goes in the uh, upper left-hand corner pocket. Uh, he's left with a good shot at the one there, Danny. The two's pretty easy. Uh, how do you look at the layout here? It looks like the four six is a. Well, if the four goes by the six, it should be a, an easy run out. But I'm not sure from this angle. If it doesn't go by, he may have to play a soft billiard on the six. Let's see what happens. It's a little close. Uh, yeah. So if there's any uh, trouble spot, it would be uh, in the uh, four six. Right. It's uh, the lower right hand part of the table here. Well, we got fooled. The one didn't go. Was he ducking intentionally or? Though I thought he had a shot on the one. He didn't. Now, in, in case the uh, in case the uh, four doesn't go, he can go one rail and nudge it and still have position on the two. That's what he did. Right. Did he get by, though? I don't think so. I think no, I think he can hit the edge of it. Yeah, I think he can. Well, two is in such a spot by the side pocket that if he can see any part of it he's got a good chance of making yeah. it. Yeah and then no problem position on the three. He's curving it a little bit. Well I was having a uh, cocktail at the bar here during that little bit of a break I had and I think that's still up there. <laughs> this is not good. It looks like uh well, he has an angle to shoot it inside. This is the whole shot. He's right going to spin this ball, it looks like here. Yep. 
Puts left hand English on the uh, cue ball, pockets the four on the side, comes out above the eight ball. So I think he should have with English just to make sure he was not going to be uh, snookered behind the eight. Dallas looks like he's a little tight yet. It's like a boxing match. He might have to get punched a couple times. And then he'll wake up. Seesaw battle continues after six games of scores. Mr. Matthews three and Dallas West three. This is the race to 11 and we are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My name is Scott Smith and with me is uh, Danny DiRiberto. Uh, you came into this event and were ranked in the third, number three spot or fourth or something? Well, tonight. I'm, uh, into I'm, this uh, after I'm the current standing. Second there, Second, Scott. excuse me. I stand corrected. Mr. By DiRiberto a few points. Is, uh, By a few points. That's terrific. Congratulations. Okay, breaking in game number seven is Dallas West, Rockford, Illinois. Big D, Hall of Famer. There he goes. Crunch it up. Yeah. Well, he parked his cue ball in the middle of the table there and, uh, until it got kicked out, but uh, he hit that with a pretty good stroke. Yeah, that was uh, Dallas West we know. Now he has a little combination on the six. If he makes it, he'll have the one in this corner pocket. And uh, no problems, it looks like. Except... Wow. <laughs> He did make a little problem out of it. Yeah, the cue ball kind of got yeah. went underneath the one, and instead of shooting this corner, yeah. he's uh, having to go to the far yeah, corner. He's okay. And uh, he flirted with that side pocket. Yes, but he, he did. But uh, he escaped it, and uh, he's got a good angle at the two. The cue ball, he's going to play position on the three by going into the rail and cueing it with low left-hand English. And very nicely done. Now he's in the... Uh, where he wants to be shooting the three in the corner. The next ball will be the five ball. And uh, he opts uh, to take a shot uh, at this corner pocket closest to us, Danny. He's got the perfect angle to just roll it in and get straight in on the seven. That's the whole secret of that shot. If he got straight in, he couldn't have done this. It would have been a little more difficult. Very nicely done. He stays down on the ball. Now he's on the seven. Pocket's in the corner. With right hand English, it comes out and uh, shoot the eight in the side. He's and let, let you got the perfect angle. That's what you have to do. You can't just get up and shoot the seven, right. and wherever it stops, you shoot. You have to get that little angle from the eight to the nine. Okay, winning game number seven will be Dallas West, and uh, he takes a four to three lead, Danny. This is uh, close to his neck of the woods. Uh, he's from uh, Rockford, Illinois, which is uh, like due west of uh, Chicago. He's probably only an hour, hour and a half away from home, isn't he? Yeah, he's close to home. I don't think he rented a motel room. All right, with the score four to three, uh, Dallas West puts the cue ball down. He put it in the corner of the break box. Danny, uh, what do you think of this? Uh, new I know something's happening here. The cue ball seems to hop in the air every time he breaks it. Oh, that that time. Yeah, solid hit. He might have been better off if it hopped in the air. Might have stayed down the other end. Now this shot here, he pocketed uh, two balls on the break. Uh, this is a shot we had discussed earlier, uh, the uh, rule where you are allowed one push out after a legal break. Right. I, I, I think it's, uh, I I think it's good for... No, I, no, but I, I, yeah. if he uh, if had to come into this situation, he, uh, and under the old rule, he would have to take a, a tougher shot possibly than a, with the option of a push out. Made a very good hit. He left the window, though. The cue ball will pass uh, between the uh, three and four. He can make a hit, and he's going to play some kind of safe. Good speed, and he got him sewed up. This um, error of players... Uh that uh, uh, most everybody's in agreement with uh, that all the color came from and the, uh, uh, the start of the subculture and everything and uh, uh, a lot of it dealing with gambling, etc. Have you, uh, uh, you heard the, uh, about the action going on, Dan? Oh, you were in Baton Rouge? Yeah. Yeah, I heard about it. Uh, there's a 
few a uh, few of the boys are not uh, with us this event because there's a little uh, uh, gambling going on down in yeah. Louisiana somewhere. But Grady, uh, I was kind of wondering why Grady wasn't down there. <laughs> I think his bankroll's a little weak right now. That's the only reason. Well, a weak bankroll uh, does make it tougher to gamble, and that's yeah. for sure. But uh, Grady uh, puts uh, Dallas in a tough spot as he lays the one ball up behind the six. He's hooked him. Uh, is he going to be able to get, a, get around that six ball, you think? No, right I don't there? think he can kick one rail at it. I don't think he has space. Well, the Alberto doesn't appear that uh, he can do that, and, uh, which means he's going to have to uh, kick for the one ball from another. Uh, yeah. Uh, Grady calls for referee Dave Dolly. Uh, is also in the managerial position here at uh, Romine's High Pockets in uh, Milwaukee. He's looking to try to spin at one what rail there. That's and a, skin, uh, a skinny Dave Dolly, too, by the way. Yeah. Very delicate shot. So delicate that he may not shoot it. I think he has to go one rail towards this uh, Brunswick uh, end of the table. Well, he uh, wasn't happy with... Uh, I wouldn't hit this hard. I, I just hit it. You might go one rail and snooker the guy. I wouldn't hit it hard. He did. He made a hit. Made a good hit. But he sold it. Yeah. Well, Matthews accomplished what he set out to do with that safety there, Danny. He, uh, he uh, forced Dallas into... Uh, Losing control and having a kick at the ball, and uh, he ended up with a nice shot on the one. What kind of cues he playing with now? Do you know what that is? Oh, I forgot. The sand, uh, what do they call it? Sam Sura? Sam Sura, yeah. Sam Sura. Ah, Sam Sura. Yeah. They won uh, uh, several years ago, I think, in the inaugural Q show. They won uh, Best of Show uh, with one of their cues. Well, Sam Grady Sura. swears by it. He, he says it's the best cue he ever used in his life. Wow. Did he do something to himself here? Uh, it appears like he... Uh, He's shooting it. He very well like may have... Uh, he made it. Man, it Good nice recovery. Shot. Shaky yeah. position, but uh, he made the ball. Yeah, no more problems. Yeah. Well, it looks like they're taking turns winning one game each. Seesaw Alternating battle. wins. Seesaw battle continues as Matthews uh, appears to be on his way to winning his fourth game. And uh, this is game number eight. Matthews pockets a seven in the side. Easy shot on the nine ball. And uh, now have another tie at four this time in the race to 11. You know, just uh, I was just kind of curious. I was thinking about uh, Grady has made some instructional tapes himself uh, uh, on one pocket and uh, uh, winning, uh, playing winning pool and stuff. Uh, has Dallas, uh, do you know if Dallas has ever done any videos? Well, that's a good that's a good uh, question because he did do a straight pool one and ran. Uh, they were trying to get him to run a hundred on the tape. There goes the nine. Break. I don't like this. You see, you one swing. Uh, and you and you won the game. I don't. Uh, I really don't like that. But it, you know, it's the same for everybody. But well, go ahead. You were uh, talking about Dallas's. Uh, yeah, he made a he made a, a tape. They wanted him to run a hundred balls on the tape, and he did it the first shot. Wow! They didn't first waste shot. any film. <laughs> wow. He's got a tape out where he runs a hundred balls, and uh, it, I think that was the name of the tape. Uh, that's a great story, but that's, yeah. a, that's a great, first shot, great accomplishment too. Yeah. to Danny's uh, comment earlier about the uh, he wasn't really too keen on the um, some of the guidelines of, uh, of nine ball one of which was uh, making the ball making the ball in the break is a win uh, in one swing but it's uh, it's the same way for everybody but the uh, uh, the break is a, is a big big part of this game and, uh, and, and it, it's uh, don't have to be a great player to have a great well, break. Well, that's, that's the reason it's the most competitive of all the games. Where, In other words, right. uh, a not-so-good player can beat a good player uh, with this little element of the break. Right. You know, in other words, that, 
that break that he made the nine and you know he won the, the game any anybody on earth can do that a bad player right. can make it on the break and win a match or a game There is an element of luck when they play this heli gully man. Yeah. And on the other hand, she had a wart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Matthews is. Uh, I had to say something funny yeah. because this rack just was too easy and uh, no sense saying he's out every time. Yeah. Right. You know, he just didn't have any problems. And, and poor Dallas, from one little bad safe, winds up uh, uh, losing three games right. in a row. Matthews continues on his role here, and he has uh, now taken a two-game lead. The score after 10 games is Brady Matthews 6, Dallas West 4. Uh, so, Danny, have you, uh, you've done some tapes too, haven't you? Yes, yes, I've done some. Uh, uh, one packet I've done that, that learned from the best tape and a few others. Uh -huh. Great. Does uh, anybody still uh, uh, market... Uh, Previously done tapes by, I mean, you know, good, great players like yourself and Dallas West and stuff. I just wonder if there's a, uh, uh, somebody that is, uh, has access to everything. Yeah, yeah, you get approached uh, every now and then. But if it's not a real unique idea, I don't like to get involved with it because mm -hmm. I myself don't like to do things that have been done. You know, if yeah. I can't come up with something different, I, I don't want to do it. Anyway, Grady broke, didn't make a ball. And Dallas doesn't have a shot on the one. It looks like he, he can hit it, but he doesn't have a shot. And again, the luck of the break. Had uh, Grady made the three ball, he would have had an easy out. But he didn't. So he decided to whack it. And under the new rules, if you knock a ball off the table, Dirty that's ball, ball in hand. The ball off the table is a foul ball in hand, and it uh, does not spot uh, as it's not the nine ball. So Matthews is going to come in, ball in hand. I'm surprised that uh, Dallas went for that. He was shooting uh, like, like he was just trying to whack yeah. the bank. It looked a little uncharacteristic to me. But also. tell me this. Yeah. Tell me this. What is the difference in doing that or breaking the balls hard? Uh, right? You're breaking the balls hard to try to make a ball and get lucky. Right. So I why think. not at any time in the game? <laughs> you know, it comes to well. the same thing. Of course, you ride more balls when they're stuck together, but right. he had a lot of action there. Yeah, it appeared like uh, that was his game plan was to just to whack it and take a uh, let luck uh, fall as it might. Well, well, this game took a real switch here from that one game. Uh, now Dallas is going to possibly lose four in a row without having a chance to win. All in uh, the way the break came out. Grady made a ball on the break. He made a nine ball, he made a ball, ran out. Then he didn't make a ball, Dallas didn't have a shot, broke him, ball went off the table, and Grady shooting another pretty easy layup. Yeah. Although he got that little funny angle here that he has to fall on the eight well. Looks like he's gonna try to hit the eight for some reason. Yeah, I think if he follows into it. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Uh, this just can happen. Yep, that's exactly yeah, right. He, the way, uh, uh, the angle that he came into the eight, he yeah. had, to, had to do something like this. Anytime you do something like that, you're taking a little gamble because you have more than one ball of control. And uh, I'm surprised at Grady. Yeah, I, uh, I would agree with you. He was gambling uh, somewhat in the fact that he was going to go into the eight ball. He had to move, uh, not only pocket the ball, but move the eight to a place where he'd have a shot and he didn't do so. Well, he had visions of hitting it on the nose, I think, and shooting it in that corner pocket. But uh, he could have done many other things. He came back. This this is uh, uh, what veterans will do when when they're running out and suddenly they get they go astray and the run out is over with. They have patience to say, okay, I'll play safe. There's some of the younger players want to keep shooting, you know, so they'll invent something. Yeah, he put him in a 50-yard line where I don't think Dallas has anything but uh, a safe or some kind of wild shot might be better off with the wild shot because I, I don't see a good save here. You know, sometimes you're just better off shooting at a white flag rather than give the table up uh, with no save. Right. Yeah, 
this is a kind of a sticky situation for Dallas Woods. He trails by two games, six to four in this race to 11. He wow. had to do that. See, I agree totally with that. He didn't have a safe, so you might as well shoot what we call a Harrigan. Well, he took a tough shot on the eight. He oh. banked it into the corner. and uh, Very low percentage shot. Yeah, a good shot of nine. But he kept in the match now. And, uh, Big game after, to win. After 11 games, uh, Dallas trails the match by one. The score is six to five. Uh, Matthews racking the balls, and Dallas West of Rockford, Illinois, will break for game number 12. We just had a match uh, get done uh, next door on this uh, yeah. most uh, immediate table adjacent yeah. to us, and the winner was Larry Scotty. 11 to 1. 11 to 1. Fastest match I ever saw. <laughs> Didn't take very long, that's for sure. Anyway, Scotty, the Prince of Pool. Here we go, back to live action. Dallas West breaking the ball. And this is game number 12 in this race to uh, 21 games. Almost made the nine, but he has the shot. He made two balls on the break, and he has uh, another connected dots game, and it can go into a tie again. Yep, another no-brainer here. The three goes in the corner. <laughs> no, I don't like that. No-brainer. I no. guess that's a uh, terminology from uh, playing cards. Really. <laughs> this is different than playing cards, for sure. Yeah, a little bit. All right, shooting the four in the uh, corner. He's just going to yank the cue ball into that side rail to come over and uh, get a shot at the five. <laughs> I never heard that one. No brainer. <laughs> That's funny to me. There we go. Dallas West uh, back in the five. He cues with low and left hand. English kind of snags the back. He's going to shoot the six in the lower left hand corner pocket. Now, where's he going to play position on the eight there? He's going to. The seven will be in this corner in near us. On the oh, you switched it. it. I, uh, on the monitor, it looked like a little different oh, angle. It, yeah. Well, at any rate, he didn't have any problems with it. There are six pockets on the table. And yeah. Found one. yeah. And West shooting the nine ball here. This will tie it again, Danny. Yeah. It's going really back and forth. Like Brady, uh, yeah, Brady exactly. made a mistake and gave away a couple games. Dallas made a mistake. He gave away a couple games. And it's still a suspenseful match. And, uh, we don't know what's going to happen here yet. We are racing to 11. The score is 6-6. Six to six, And breaking the walls will be Dallas West. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, we're racing to 5 now. That's correct. This is a race yeah. to 5 from this Great point how time. I can add and subtract 6 from 11 is 5. Great. So it's Winner table 29, Mike LeBron. You've done this commentary be before, too. Well, I went to college, yeah. and I took all kinds of maps also. Yeah. Good for you. And you, uh, you were one of the featured commentators in the... Uh, Series that we're going to Alexia, Mississippi, yeah. too. And, uh, did you notice how that ball hopped up in the air again? I did notice it. Yes. Yeah. There must be something either he's putting the cue ball in a hole or something, a little pit in the table. Uh -huh. Yeah, just for the viewers, uh, a little trivia kind of information. Uh, oh, yeah. The, uh, Never put the cue ball in a little hole or. or a little you know, or a rising right. part in the cloth because it's going to hop when it hits that uh, head ball. Right. If the uh, if the head ball, the one ball uh, in the rack, is in any kind of indentation too, yeah. uh, it's going right. to come out of there jumping. Well, I didn't consider that because everything's new. That usually happens when it gets worn out. Right. Anyway, he he's, he's going to play safe. He's going to try to put him in jail here. Put him in jail. And that you he know did. he did. Yeah, that he did. did. It that appears did. like. A, He's not, not going to be able to go around the five. Okay, let me tell you something here. He'd be crazy to try to hit this one. I would just fan the, the five and put it a little closer to the four if it's not froze and let the guy go. I mean, you know, you're not going to have a worse mm -hmm. kick than this the next right. time, so let him go. He hit it. Great shot. Should have called the referee there because it was close, yeah. but he hit it. I would agree. Okay, he hit it. leaves the table and... Uh, Dallas has got uh, somewhat of a tough shot to start with. Is this the come shot here, you think? Yeah, but he has a better angle, it looks like. The thing is, you have to do nothing but make the ball. You know, if you had to go two rails or something, right. that changes it. But he just had to cinch the ball right. because of the five sitting near the pocket. Okay, the sixth uh, will clear the eight ball into the lower right-hand corner right. pocket. And he left a perfect angle to get to the seven. And, of course, the eight, nine are the no-brainers. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting match. Uh, uh, the last two uh, uh, big swings and momentum have come just due to a little bit of a mistake, and each one has uh, paid dearly for him. Right. Three games, right? 
Yep. At least three games. Remember earlier I said they were winning one game each? Right. Now they're winning three in alternating. And Dallas is going to try to make it four, I think, after this one. All right. With the score tied at six games apiece. West shoots on the nine. And bingo. Runs out. And the uh, score now is Dallas West seven, Grady Matthews six. And uh, this is day number one from Milwaukee at the 1997 Taco Bell Seniors uh, Players Championship. Uh, what a great facility this place is here, Romine's High Pockets. Well, and, and uh, I don't, I don't like to say this, but it has nothing to do with some of them are bad. This, this just has been the best room we've played in. Yeah. You know, that don't mean the other ones are uh, real I bad. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, this is the best room to play but, in uh, so far. And uh, 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 Terry Romine and his staff here, his family, uh, they just do a terrific job with this pool room and. Uh, it was like coming home when, I, when we come up now, here. Now, that was the ideal break. You notice how he hit it on the nose. The cue ball stuck in the middle of the table. Absolutely. Parked Whitey right in the middle and of the table. And that's what you'd like to do because that gives you uh, more variety. Now he's got to do a little yeah. uh, cue this pretty yeah. pretty slick there. He, uh, yes, he did. He put, had a little uh, reverse on it. Come inside back. English, low and left, and uh, just spun the ball and uh, put it one. He has to fall on the four. This is the only hope that Grady has right now this game. If he don't fall on the floor real well, which he did. Nice shot. Yeah. He got better than uh, I thought he could, and it's a great shot. All right, Dallas West, Hall of Famer, shooting the four in the corner. Uh, he's going to play position uh -oh. five. Uh-oh. Uh I was kind of curious which He got uh, lucky there. Where he might uh, try to get, but... He, uh, he got lucky to get any shot at all. Right, he could have been froze up to the ball the right. way he was looking. And then it wouldn't have banked. He's got a tough shot here. I mean, he... You don't like to do this when you get control of the ball with, with, uh, with the balls all right. open. You should never have a tough shot again, uh, and this is a result of hitting the ball that's in the open. You don't have to hit it. It's like Grady shot the ball before and then billiarded right. the, the eight and got safe. He's got a shot though. Grady didn't. Wow. Yeah, but now he's got to control the cue ball here. He's got to shoot this real soft. He has a little angle on the seven. Uh, I think he's going to hit it uh, hard well, enough to go up and back myself. I don't think so. I think he might spin with a little right-hand reverse and, and go forward just to lengthen the angle. Or else he's going to draw it and play it right in that same pocket. Oh, he went flying around in the pocket. Ooh. This and when you do that flying around, you lose control of the cue ball, and this is, he's going to get punched for it. That is amazing there, but again... Uh, he made that little mistake and hit the ball, and he got punished for it. You got to turn the cue ball loose. Those pockets uh, seem to be bigger for the cue ball. And along with the punishment, he yeah. also uh, is in another tie with Grady Matthews. The score is now seven to seven, and it's a race to four. Again. Yeah, I'll take three to one that it's a 11-10 game match. You'll take three to one that it ends up hill hill. Yeah. Bet. <laughs> Thirty to ten. You got to bet. Are we down? Huh? Let's do a drinks. All right. Three drinks to one. Three drinks to one. Because Wait a minute. If we do drinks, then we could at least both laugh about it. Okay. I don't want you All to right. lose three, three drinks, drinks uh, to margaritas, though, pal. Well, right. I didn't tell you my choice yet. Okay. What is your choice? No, I'll let you know right. after I win. Okay. All right. We're down here. We're going to land three if drinks lose, to one, and uh, it's got to end up hill, hill. Okay. If, if I lose, I'll drink Cokes, and if I win... I drink pina coladas. Ah, pina colada. But I have to check the menu and the right. prices. It's got to be Sounds expensive. Good. Seven seven is the score. We got a bet. We got action. Here we go. Uh, West comes in. Uh, he uh, plays a safety base. Uh, good one too. Uh, he did get behind the two and the eight. He uh, was. Now uh, you see what Grady has to not do here is hit those that four and nine. That might be the only thing saving him. And uh, he turned Whitey and loose, and look what happened. But the four nine are tied up, I believe. Right. Yeah, and, he didn't. And any time balls are tied up in a rack and you're kicking, find a way to kick that you're not going to disturb those balls. I don't care if it's a three-railer. Go some way where you have no chance to disturb those balls that are tied up. I think we're going to see. Uh, I think we're going to see the three foul rule come into play here. I think. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Grady's on one, and it looks like Dallas is uh, considering. Uh, Trying to put him on that second foul with yeah. by the looks of the 4-9. Yeah, he could freeze him right behind the 9. 
that, that looks like what he's going to try to do. And, and if he puts him there, Brady doesn't have too many paths to kick. Anyway, that's what he's looking at. And the rule re we're referring to is uh, the three foul rule, three consecutive fouls by the same player has lost a game. And Matthews is on one foul. That last little thing he did, he's looking at the billiard 4-9. That's what he was aiming at there. He wants to run the 2-3 and try to fall down there and make the billiard. That that was his last right. little... Uh, <coughs> it doesn't appear like it uh, it's makeable to me. Well, the 4, if it's close to the rail, that's a little tough because if you hit it a hair too full, the 4 will come off the rail and and hit the cue ball again. Yeah, but we don't know what's going to happen. We're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. He's got to make the one, in, I mean, well, the two and the three first, right. and then we'll see. And his belly, you know, if he has a talented belly, it can open him up right now. Uh, okay, 7-7 seven, seven is the score. And uh, West has uh, pocketed the one. He's pocketed the two. He's in good uh, shape to make the three ball. But uh, what is he going to play position to do here, Danny? Well, originally I thought he was going to try to fall down there and uh, play the billiard, but now, uh, you know, it looks like he got fairly straight in and he can't get to that uh, northwest corner over there. He's going to try, though. He's going to draw up one rail, I think, between the eight and nine. He hit the eight. That's disastrous. Well, he uh, pocketed the three ball and he ended up... Uh not much of a shot on the four. This is a uh, shot for the referee this is, here. Yeah, call the referee. You know, I had a little question. What yeah. if when he was aiming before his belly did open him up and he ran two or three more balls and then Grady's aware that it isn't the way it was? Don't you have to call it? Uh-oh, might be a bad hit there. I guess he, he, guess he did all right. Uh, he huh? did all right as far as uh, no ball in hand, but this yeah. isn't much worse than ball in hand. Right. Yeah, he's uh, great. He said uh, definitely got a good shot at the four to start with. Uh, in response to that last question, though, uh, uh, if you snooze, you lose. Grady would have had to cut it when it happened. And, uh, snooze, you lose. Yeah. He got over the top a little bit. He's okay because he don't have to do anything to get to the six. It's automatically going one rail. Well, he's uh, looks like he's gonna have to stretch out a little bit here. Notice this has been a strange match with giveaways. They have, they have won games that they look like they were going to lose, and they've lost games that look like they couldn't lose. Right. <laughs> Very strange match. I haven't seen one like this, but that's it's the a thing about pool. I've been yeah. doing it now almost 40 years, and you think you saw everything, and something else um, happens that's uh, new. I, I can relate to that. You, uh, I, I've often said to myself, just think you've seen it all. Come to the pool tournament and see. So yeah. You're bound to see something different all the time. Anyway, Gray's shooting at the six. He's cueing the ball high. He's going to follow it. Is that what he's going to do? Yeah, he's going to try to go two rails forward. Watch outside pocket. And Watch outside oh. pocket. Oh, That's Grady what happens when you... Anguish, look of anguish on his face as the... Uh, oh, I don't blame him. Ball when gets you get away to that at, point, yeah. you're not supposed to lose the cue ball. It should have been tic-tac-toe. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. Right. I've done it myself. Oh, it's It just uh, goes to show you how much a game can change on one shot. Well, I have a saying that the pockets are bigger for the cue ball. You notice twice oh. they oh. let the cue ball go and it found a pocket? Yep. Well, twice for Brady and this is, also This is uh, another one of those games. You see, a game where you think the guy Brady can't have won. do wrong. Absolutely, right. And he lost that one. Now, West takes the lead again. And yeah. the uh, score after 15 games is Dallas West 8, Brady Matthews 7. And uh, we got a great one going here. Matthews yeah. and uh, yeah, You don't want to do West. this when you start getting to where a person needs a few games. You don't want to give away games. You don't want to do it early, but early you could overcome it. Right now, uh, it has to do with percentage. You give right. a game away in the beginning, I mean, the guy still has to beat you uh, 11 to 9 or, or 9 to 11 or something. But here now, it's a different percentage. It's three to four. You know, it's Absolutely. a big thing. How's our bet looking here? Three to one, and it ends up on 10 to 10. Yeah. I guess uh, it had to go 8-7. Let's we'll see if it goes 8-8, eight, eight, pal. All right, West breaking the balls. The score is 8-7. to seven. This is game number 16. Hey, another no-no. You don't want to let the cue ball fly I don't like off this. the table. I don't like go. this for our bet here. This could be a sit. You didn't know this was going to go, Bill? <laughs> no, I guess I not. <laughs> uh, it's a sucker in me, I guess. I can't help it. But this is not a gimme here. The five, if it falls on, well, I'll tell you, where the four is sitting, he could get on the combination right. five, seven very easily. But if you get a little off, the five could float behind the eight. So 
he has to be careful, but he is right now happy to be getting a shot. You can't go off to Taylor with good players or in the pocket. That's right. That's uh, somewhat of a mental it's error. Fatal. A mental it's fatal. It is. It is. And uh, you're right. At unlucky. this level, world-class players, uh, they will punish you if you uh, make those mistakes. Yeah, if he falls on the floor real, real well here, he can get to... Got on the 50 yard line. He has to hit the uh, five ball here. Uh, Dallas West had just uh, made an inquiry here at the booth uh, as to the uh, scoring beads. Uh, we have uh, 12 beads on both sides on this particular table. It's because the finals will be played on this table. Uh, but all the preliminary matches are race to 11. Dallas wants to suffer four more games or something. I don't know. <laughs> he got a little funny here. He got a little funny here. Another mistake. He, he got lucky off the five to brush the eight, or he would have went behind the seven. Now he's got to do something uh, a little spectacular. I think he's going to go two rails and, and uh, just Ooh. take the cut. Yeah. Well, he uh, he didn't gamble on trying to get good position this time. He he learned his lesson flying around. Yep. I agree with that. He, uh, he just uh, was uh, more or less trying to sense the six and get any kind of shot at the seven here without uh, getting too wild. Well, the cue ball is on the other side of the table from what he liked to be. And look at it dipping this, towards this the rail. This is not bad luck, though. I mean, you're not no. supposed to get near the rail. You're supposed to stay out in the open. And, and you're the one who shot it and made it get That's there. absolutely correct. Oh, he's lucky that one went. Tomorrow that well, won't go or the next day when it wears out a little bit. But he doesn't have a gimme. I want to be closer than this in a tight match. Right. Yeah. How's it look? D, eight to eight. <laughs> but now, you know why I changed it from $30 to 10 to drink? Because that's more uh, uh, what social. Do you social. Yeah. I, had, Thank you. I learned when I was a kid. My father said, you don't gamble with friends. I rate you a friend. Thank you, Danny. And, and, uh, but we I, can drink with friends. My whole life with it, I wouldn't beat a friend or try to beat a friend for money. But dinners and drinks, that's sociable. Okay. I might at least let you laugh yeah. while we're drinking if but I beat you. No, we're not going to include a steak in this deal. We'll just no. go for the drinks. Right. Next eight time. to eight. Matthews breaking after 16 games. Scores eight for Greg Matthews. Eight for... Hall of Famer Dallas West and uh, Matthews makes the eight on the break and uh, has a good shot at the one, yes. two, the five fell just in two. So uh, connect the dots. Connect the dots. Here we go. It, and then every eight. time someone made a mistake in this match, they got punished. Absolutely. They didn't get away with anything. Yep. You're absolutely correct. How much punishment? It depends on how he falls on the two here. Well, he's he got, got a little the, tough. I think he's all right. I think he, yeah, he's he wanted right, to stay on that side, you know, so like it, yeah, you, the you, angle allows him to come down to the three ball. Oh, you're right about that. It, it is a case of uh, you're better off undershooting certain right. shots or overshooting them, and that's what he was thinking of. But uh, uh, because he wasn't ideally uh, perfect on the two ball, he has created a little bit of a tough shot here. Uh, he comes up jacked up uh, the nine ball, uh, making him... Uh, and I don't think the six no, has a clear be. pocket past the seven, so we better get on the four real well. You hit rail first. Now he's got to fall on the six. I don't think it goes in that pocket near the seven, does it? I don't think it does. I would agree with you. I yeah, do here not goes believe Whitey. It. This this could be the whole match falling on this ball. No oh, good. Oh, he knocked it. What a genius! He knocked the seven out of the way so the six can go. He did that earlier with another shot. Well, it's kind of a backwards cut, but... Uh, but at least it goes, and you have to make the ball. Where the seven is sitting, right. all you got to do is make the ball. There's nothing right. extra before to the, do. Uh, before he shot the shot, uh, the uh, ball would not clear that seven ball in that pocket. But uh, That's the second time he did it during this match. Yeah, oh, see. he's shooting it in the other pocket. Yeah, now. Oh, uh, I don't agree with this one. See, again, he hit a ball in, and now he's got a tough shot. That's why well, I didn't agree. I don't, right, I don't yeah, understand well, that. It, it, it appeared that he, he knew he was going to have to uh, uh, let the cue ball go into the seven, and, and, and he's yeah. at risk by doing that, right? Yeah, he, he picked a shot that was easier for him to make, but not for easier position. 
How's he going to hit this one now? He overcut it. He banked it. He should have shot it harder. Well, he kind of. That was one of those shots that kind of makes yeah. you uh, uh, makes your body want to pull itself and, up. And it's another game where the guy that looked like he had to win the game didn't. Right. Funny match. Very funny. funny it match. is a funny match. And now Dallas West just comes to the table with the nine ball only on and uh, pockets the nine ball. He leads the match nine games to eight. Uh, once again, this is a race to 11. And we're in uh, Milwaukee at the 1997 Taco Bell Senior Players Championships. Hall of Famer Dallas West and the defending champion of this event, uh, the Professor Grady Matthews, 9-8. And uh, in the booth, we have a little sweat bed here. Cocktails, right, Danny? It's got to yeah. end up 10 and 10 to get your 3 to 1. Right. Good nice. action, but oh, oh, the nine ball. Oh, man. Grady's getting totally put punished for, for his mistake now. And I'm um, getting punished with him. And I'm gonna let you guys do the uh, do the interview post game interview on your own. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's ten to eight in favor of, uh, in favor of Grady Eric's, uh, Dallas West and uh, uh, your uh, prophecy of uh, uh, earlier about the uh, the uh, break advantage going to Dallas West uh, just showed up there. Huh? Yeah. So West uh, comes in with a score tied eight to eight. He gets a. Uh, no brainer on the nine ball, if you will, and uh, then gets to break right behind it, makes the nine on the break. He leads the match 10 to 8, and uh, this is a race to 11. He didn't get the action and made the cue ball. And uh, with the match presumably under control, he scratches on the break, and uh, Matthews has another opportunity. Well, the thing here. The two is tied up. He has to look at the combination. I think the two five may be straight in this pocket and close enough to do something with it. But he looks like he's lining up to try to hit the two. He yeah. should. That's a mistake. He should at oh, least it, see if that ball is straight. It, it looks this like it's is wired. a gamble. Every time he's hit a ball so far, he, he didn't get the best of it. Right. And, and this isn't so good either. He and should have looked at that two it, five it, combination. It did look like it was wired. I would agree with you. That it was, uh, at least it was close. One way or another, you right. could have threw, threw the ball or something. But... Yeah, he uh, he just uh, he snoozed it completely. Didn't even look like he looked at it. Yeah. All right, Matthews is down. He's shooting at the two ball. He's playing safe. Banks the two ball back to this end of the table and uh, leaves the cue ball yeah. at the other end of the table. When in doubt, leave him on the end rail. Yeah, but I don't know. I I, I think Dallas the way he shot that other shot, the one into the nine. I think oh, this he, is another good chance to I, just I, go uh, ahead and play the nine. I think Dallas is going to do exactly what DiLiberto just mentioned. He is going to take a, a Harrigan on the 2-9. He might finesse this one. No, he's playing safe. And a good one. Wow, that was a nice shot. But I think he's got a pretty easy kick. He can go between the 4 and 9. See this shot now? I wouldn't go all out and whack this. I would kick one rail at the edge of the 2 and go right into the 4. He made the 9. He made the 9. No, he didn't. Dallas might. <laughs> mm. With the score 10 to 8, West comes back to the table. Oh, my God. Matthews uh, uh, tried a control kick, if you will, and uh, the nine ball ended up uh, hanging in the, in the uh, corner pocket. Well, uh, Tom, you want a better drink? He does or don't make this? Uh, even money? No bet. No bet. Okay. See you later. Hey. I'll just collect my one margarita. Thank you very much. Winner, Dallas West. And uh, the match is uh, concluded. Dallas West banks the two ball into the nine, which was hanging in the uh, lower left-hand corner pocket. And he wins by three games, 11 games to eight. And I'll see you at the bar later, Danny okay. DiDiberto. You got uh, We're going to have a uh, post-game interview here, and uh, we'd like to invite uh, uh, the most recent invite or inductee of the Hall of Fame into the booth with us with uh, Danny DiDiberto. This uh, is a uh, winner of our match here, Mr. Dallas West. Congratulations, Dallas. Good playing there. And uh, viewers, I'm signing out. Bye-bye. Okay. Dallas, uh, you shot a pretty good match, but you gave away some matches. When did you know you had them? <laughs>
Well, you know, Danny, in this kind of a game, you, there's no guarantees that you're ever going to have them because that nine ball can start going in from everywhere, you know. Yeah. And uh, I had him on a scratch the one time, and when I was trying to get out and try to get up and play the billiard on the nine, it was a bad decision, but then I scratched on it, I think. You remember yeah. when I hit the ball? Yeah. But that's the nature of the game. I, I think I'm playing a little bit too cozy, and straight pole players have a tendency of doing that, and I'm trying to open my game up a little bit, and uh, that seems to be helping a little bit. Okay, one, one thing. Don't you think that that was kind of a strange match? Didn't a lot of games switch when it looked obvious the guy was going to get out? I mean, didn't, absolutely. Didn't you get absolutely. shocked that you got shot oh, sometimes? Oh, are you kidding? I pinched myself. Seven and the eight and all. <laughs> and that's something. Uh, oh. That happened more in this match than I've seen it happen in 30 yeah, years. Yeah, I think he gave me two or three games. I gave him two or three games. Yeah. You know? I mean, really give away. I mean, yeah, there really were games away. that if you were gambling, you might have gave it to the guy. And then yeah, suddenly absolutely. he did a silly thing and gave away some games. And You'd you have probably gave it away from the seven on. Yeah. <laughs> you, did, you did take advantage, and uh, you won the match, and that, that was a big win for you. That's a tough draw first match, and uh, uh, good luck. In the, Thank in you. The that's that's always the one that hurts me the worst. The first I, one. I, yeah. I don't know how you feel about it, yeah. but I hate that first match it is, because it's it a lot of pressure there to yeah. get started. But yeah. thank you. Okay, there, Dallas. Good luck.